हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल इन द लास्ट सेमिस्टर आई हैव टॉट यू सेंट्रल बैंकिंग सब्जेक्ट इन दिस थर्ड सेमिस्टर आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू कॉर्पोरेट बैंकिंग दैट इज बैंक मैनेजमेंट पेपर फिफ्थ इन दिस फर्स्ट लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू टेक जस्ट रिव्यू ऑफ सिलेबस वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन द होल सेमिस्टर the name of the subject itself suggests that it is a special kind of banking which we are going to study in this semester last year in two semester you have done basic bankings now from this semester we are moving towards some kind of special branches of banking corporate banking is also a special kind of banking specially designed for corporate world now if if i ask you where is the branch of corporate bank in satara can you tell me i repeat again corporate bank not corporation bank anywhere have you seen corporate bank though it is a special type of banking there are not special types of corporate banking branches as such within a branch of bank there is a special division or department of corporate banking as its name suggests it is a specially designed service of banking for business or business uh, or corporate world which provides special kind and specially designed banking products for businesses or corporate world now let's move towards the syllabus which banking services we are going to study under the head of corporate banking we have four units the first unit is devoted to basic corporate banking in the very first content we are going to study meaning and role of corporate banking we are going to study special role in economic development we all know corporate world provides job different products as per our needs improvement in technology capital formation is also the role of corporate world and it finally leads to economic development but corporate world is also depend on the special kind of finances or services it's it's provided by corporate banking for example uh the working capital finance it is provided for day to day expenses of businesses so in a nutshell corporate banking banks provide different and specially designed product to develop businesses and even and eventually help to economic development of any country or economy second content of this unit is features and process of factoring and forfeiting services factoring is closely the service like a bill discounting in the factoring services banks work as a middleman forfeiting is also same product as factoring but here more players are involved because it is related to international trade the third content of the first unit its meaning nature and scope of working capital finance as discussed already working capital finance is blood circulation role in businesses like our body needs it work uh, our body needs like a world circulation so the role of working capital finance is in the businesses is same working capital finance provides day to day expenses of business houses we will study in details nature of working capital finance and the sources from where working working capital finance can be raised the fourth content of this chapter is devoted to nature and importance of business advisory services corporate world needs time to time advisory services to conduct smooth business for example if it is sick unit how to revive revive it suppose business have to raise fund from market 
for expansion how much it should take from bank as a loan how much it raised through equity market so at every step there is need of advisory services which provided by corporate banking let's move to second unit of the syllabus this unit is very much concerned with foreign exchange and inter international market in the first content we are going to study meaning of foreign exchange its types and also sources of foreign exchange for businesses to conduct business successfully internationally one needs to manage the foreign exchange according to needs of business foreign exchange management includes conduct business according to considering the value of foreign exchange also we are going to study in details in the second content of this chapter the third content is devoted to what are the risks involved in foreign exchange businesses for the sake of example credit risk interest rate risk political risk and some socio cultural risk are also there and many more are there so we have to discuss it in greater details as we move forward third unit is very much concerned with an interesting topic that is investment banking <clears throat> investment banks are specially designed banks which provide special banking products or services to corporate world hence come under corporate banking in this chapter we are going to study how investment banks evolved and what is the scope of these banks we also going to study merchant banks and their functions you will get an opportunity to study two more concepts such as venture capital and loan syndication their importance and nature so these are two very beautiful concept you will learn uh, because uh, venture capital is also going to help you if you are going to run your own business in future venture capital is as the name suggest adventure capital means investment of capital in such businesses where in future opportunity of business or prospect is bright that is growing or emerging sector investment loan syndication is also another form of finance where banks from a syndicate and a bank forms a syndicate syndicate means a group to finance businesses it has its special benefit or advantages we will study later into deeply for example uh, the risk of uh, loan default uh, can be minimized if uh, the bank forms uh, a group or syndicate the fourth unit is very much uh, very much concerned with project and infrastructure finance in this new era of rapid development project development and execution particularly in infrastructure needs lot of services and finance so role of corporate finance is there we are going to study characteristics and sources of project finance its special kind of character the special kind of character of project finance makes the project finance different than other finances because it has for example uh, it has long gestation period uh, it requires heavy investment etc so the project finance is not that much easy uh, compared to other loans so project finance is a different kind of thing which provided by Cap uh, corporate banking, corporate banks. In this unit, we are also going to study project report and balance sheet analysis. Ah, uh, uh, with uh, the with that leading infrastructure finance companies India, we are also going to uh, discuss. 
in the last but not least we have to study problems related to project finance problems of project finance emerges due to special characters uh, characteristics of project and infrastructure as i as i already discussed for example it requires long period and heavy investment for project it has long gestation period the long gestation period means the return from investment requires long period of time so all these things we have to study as we move forward from content to content uh, so that that much in this first lecture in the next lecture i will discuss and start actual syllabus uh, let's move towards the uh, references you can use for the study the vasant desai bank management himalaya publishing house is a, a one good book uh, the basic books uh, you need to refer is the iibf's corporate banking macmillan publication is a very good book also you can use uh, rama murthy natarajan's corporate banking it is a special uh, guide book for uh, corporate banking syllabus then uh, you can pause the video and note down it and also you can use the notes uh, time to time given by teachers and as suggested by teacher this uh, the last link you can use for internet sources you can search uh, many things on the internet also so that uh, that much in this first lecture in the next lecture uh, we will start actual syllabus uh, by then you have to solve one simple question the question is which big corporate bank uh, listen carefully you have to solve this question and answer in the next lecture the simple question is which corporate bank recently got into problem and later state bank of india with other bank purchased its stake you can take help of internet also to solve this question if you didn't go uh, get it again i repeat which big corporate bank recently got into problem so try to solve it you have to mention your uh, name in the comment box for the attendance thank you see you again in the next next lecture